Hi, and welcome to the 700 Club. Israel launched its ground invasion into southern Lebanon last night with raids against Hezbollah strongholds. It's the latest step in making it possible for tens of thousands of Israeli citizens to return to their homes in the north. Chris Mitchell reports. IDF troops headed into southern Lebanon Monday, launching localized and limited raids against Hezbollah terror targets that pose the most imminent threat to nearby Israeli communities. Explosions lit up the night sky as the IDF attacked. Hezbollah turned Lebanese villages next to Israeli villages into military bases, all ready for an attack on Israel. Hezbollah had prepared to use those villages as staging grounds for an October 7-style invasion into Israeli homes. The IDF's chief spokesman explained the reason for the invasion. If the state of Lebanon and the world can't push Hezbollah away from our border, we have no choice but to do it ourselves. I want to make it clear. Our war is with Hezbollah, not with the people of Lebanon. Israeli jets are bombing Hezbollah targets throughout Lebanon, including Beirut, where the terror group is headquartered. President Biden told reporters he wants the fighting to stop. We should have a ceasefire now. Thank you. The State Department is pressing for a ceasefire, but acknowledged Hezbollah is to blame for this war, and Israel has a right to end it decisively. It was Hezbollah on the day after October 7th that started launching rocket attacks across the border that have not stopped until this day, and Israel has a right to defend itself against those attacks. So far, Iran is not coming to the aid of their number one proxy in the region. Observers like former Trump official Jared Kushner believe it's a sign that the regime in Tehran is more vulnerable with Hezbollah weakened. On Monday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu delivered a message directly to the Iranian people. When Iran is finally free, and that moment will come a lot sooner than people think. Everything will be different. Our two ancient peoples, the Jewish people and the Persian people, will finally be at peace. Iran will thrive as never before. Global investment, massive tourism, brilliant technological innovation based on the tremendous talents that exist inside Iran. Doesn't that sound better than endless poverty, repression, and war? Don't let a small group of fanatic theocrats crush your hopes and your dreams. Iranian-born Ramin Parsa told CBN News most Iranians detest the Islamic regime. I can tell you with certainty that 95 percent of the people in Iran, they don't want the Islamic regime. The regime basically has no support from within from the people. If you remember, uh, on April 13, when the regime attacked Israel, the first thing that the regime did, that they put anti-riot uh, forces on the streets, because they were more afraid of the people rising up than even Israel attacking back. So that's why they were so scared. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.